right, another sunny day. Digging these blue skies. Hope it lasts all week. All right, so it's breakfast time. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I know I have some tortillas. I know I have eggs. Let's see what else I got in my fridge here. I have some spinach. And what else? Oh, I have some tomatoes. So let's see what I can do with that. All right, so I've picked up a couple more items here from my kitchen. I got this set of pans. These are the ceramic nonstick pans made by Green Life. So far, I'm really happy with them. Came with this larger one and this small one. I got the set for about, uh, I think, $27. And then I picked up this silicone spatula. It's working out really great. These are really awesome. They're super easy to clean and they have a very soft edge so they don't scratch your pans up. And then also something else that I picked up, this little mini pair of tongs is working out really good. These come in so handy for just uh, moving things around the pan and picking them up. And it's got the nice silicone uh, tips on them so you don't scrape your pan up. So really happy with that. I'm able to hang them up here on my hooks so it works out really good. And there it is, just egg, spinach, tomato, some Cholula hot sauce wrapped up in a tortilla. Mmm. Alright, so I finally picked up myself a water filter pitcher. This is made by Zero Water. Uh, I had been just basically drinking water from the tap for quite a while. And uh, I really started to feel like I wasn't drinking enough water because the water didn't taste good and it's probably not healthy. So since I picked this up, I've been drinking a lot more water. The water tastes extremely good after it's been through the filter. So I'm super happy I got this. I wish I would have got it a long time ago. I really went through a period where I felt like I just was getting dehydrated a lot and it was basically just because the water I had didn't taste good. So this promotes me just drinking a lot more water. Super happy with it. Water tastes great. Alright, so I went ahead and picked up these. This is a new addition for me. This is a strip of LED lights. This is 16 feet roll. 16 foot roll there. I got the whole thing from Amazon for $23. Uh, I know they can be gotten cheaper from eBay, but uh, I prefer Amazon as a seller. Just have better luck with the return policy and everything. Uh, comes with the remote. This is the little remote receiver and then the power supply. The way the power supply works is you plug it into a normal household outlet and it converts it into 12 volts at the end of this plug. So I've read that um, it's no problem to just go ahead and cut this off, bypass the uh, power supply, and just wire this straight to my 12 volt batteries. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try today. We'll show you how I install them. I'm basically gonna have to do a little uh, rearranging here. Um, I have my fishing pole kind of stored up along here, but this is where I wanna mount the lights. I'm gonna stick them to my ceiling paneling. Uh, they come with a self-adhesive on the back of it. You just peel off the paper and it's got some sticky stuff on the back. So I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to go around here, around the ceiling, and then on this side as well. And I may even try to do along the back of the ceiling if I have enough and if I can actually get it around the corners. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that. All right, so I'm just kind of testing them out here. I've got them just for right now, kind of just draped around the van. They're on the wet red setting. Got it going all along the back. And then coming around the back. And then going all the way up over the front door. Okay, so I really did my best to try to film me actually sticking this on the ceiling. 
but it's just so tight in here I could not put my tripod anywhere to get a good shot of me doing it. Very simple, you just peel the paper off the back. Uh, my only concern is when it gets hot, whether or not that this uh, adhesive is going to hold up with the heat. So we'll just have to find out. I don't know what I'll do if it doesn't. If it starts to peel off, um, I just may every incrementally just use thin strips of uh, Gorilla Tape, possibly. It'll block out one or two of the LEDs each place I tape it, but I'm going to hope that this is strong enough that it sticks. I've got it going all along the back, all along the side there. So I'm really digging it. I like the fact that you can dim them. You can make them brighter or dimmer. I'll show you that. I'll mess around with the controller. And it goes all the way up over here by my TV, all the way around. So digging it. Let's see if we can get some different colors here. It's got, you know, the standard red, blue, green. The best shot is over this way. The blue. It's got all different shades of colors there. And then I'll put it on the white. We'll show you that it gets a lot brighter. So it really lights it up good in here. I know this camera doesn't pick up this light well. But yeah, so far I'm pleased with it. All right, so I wanted to give you guys some insight to van dwelling here. Uh, living in a small space, you know, I've done my best with this van build to have storage spaces. Uh, but what's really happening here is I'm building up junk. Stuff on my bed is getting in the way for when I'm ready to go to sleep. So I've got this little pile of junk here. And then this is an area you, you don't rarely see in any of my videos because I always have a different angle on the camera. And this dish pan here, I usually pull up and set on my stove when I'm ready to go to bed so I can lay out flat. And then I have this big mess in the corner. I've got my Mr. Buddy, Buddy heater. I've got some clothes that I really don't wear often rolled up and folded here. I've got my laptop bag, backpack and dirty laundry and then underneath all that stuff I've got a couple other containers with things that I'm really not using much so I need to go through all of this stuff that's stacked up here and get it stored underneath the bed now to do that I need to go through the stuff that's stored underneath the bed and um, so yeah I'm kind of in a, in a spot where I'm getting very frustrated with stuff being in my way and not being able to move around as much as I need to. Another area that's becoming cluttered here is on my floor. Normally I have this big area here, this floor space wide open, and now because I have, because of lack of anywhere else to put it, I've got all this stuff stacking up. Typically I just would want my water jug with the pump on it and this bucket that I can use for a seat which has my propane tank in it. And all this other stuff I need to get off of the ground and have a place to put it. It's keeping me from being able to uh, move around in here, get dressed and get cleaned up in the mornings. Uh, so my aim is to get rid of all this stuff on the floor, find another spot for it, and then as well as getting this all cleared up. Like I said, I really just want to have it so it's my sleeping bag, my laptop bag, my dirty laundry. Everything else needs to go away. And I really need to consolidate this stuff, most of my cooking dishware, and clean out this top shelf up here. This is all junk that I haven't touched in over a year. And I want to make that available for all of my cookware so I can eliminate having this sitting on the bed and then when I need to go to sleep, having to move it around. All right, so I've decided I'm going to spend all day tomorrow cleaning this van up. I've showed you the junk pile that I have over here, all the stuff that I have just kind of building up on the bed, and the areas that I should have available to store them under the bed and in my little cabinet area over here. So I'm going to do my best to get things cleaned up. I'm going to have to either donate some stuff or give some stuff away. We do have a Facebook group here for the work campers at Adventureland, and a lot of folks have been posting stuff up pretty much ever, now that everyone's here all the travelers are here settled for a little bit a lot of campers are doing their uh, spring cleaning so to speak so people are posting stuff they have available on this Facebook group anyone that wants them before we try to donate them so I think I'm gonna do that and just really take a look at what I need and the stuff that I have not been using 
and just do some serious downsizing and just get down to the bare essentials. So that's the plan. So in the next video, I'll be showing the progress. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys that this whole pile of junk is not here. So that'll be the plan. We'll see how it goes.